you may have realized that some of your boards aren't showing up when you go onto Trello. It's because Trello's moved to workspace and I was totally confused. I was actually thinking, cripes, somebody's deleted my boards. It's don't panic. It's not happened. Um, it's just the fact that um, now they've moved to workspaces. It's Trello's way of organizing our boards. Now, just to uh, start this, you're on a free account. You're only allowed up to 10 boards, um, but you are allowed numerous workspaces, but only 10 boards across the entirety of those workspaces. So you might go when you go into a Trello, you can now see you've got these workspaces up here. Click down here. I've, I've actually created a lifestyle one and a biz workspace one. But I, as it, when I looked at it, I've got three duplicates of this. And I just assumed they were all the same workspace. But when I, I've only just realized that um, they actually contained different boards. The reason I was able to find my boards is I was either going to recent and I could see what I've been working on recently or indeed starred and all of my most important boards I have starred here so that I can get quick access to them. If you don't star your boards, I highly recommend you do. Um, all you need to do is go into like, so say that board, and you see here, it's got that little tab next to the, the name of the board, and you can click that. And so it just means you've got quicker access to your starred boards. It just puts them at the top of the list, sort of pins them to the top as it were. So what I'm going to do is show you how to, when I was first doing this, and you might want to do this too, I was very, very cautious. So I made a backup copy of one of my other boards. I'm going to go into, let me just have a little look, Kate Hartley's workspace. I think this has got my, just trying to find my recipe one. Okay, you can see I made a backup copy of my recipes. I'm going to make it, I'm going to show you how to make a copy of a board just so that you can play with a copy first so that you feel safe doing it. So go into the board that you want to copy and go to show menu top right and you go to more and then literally just copy board. So you give it a title. You can choose which workspace you want it to go into. That's a drop down list um, and keep the cards, keep the template cards and then you would create. OK, so it's a really quick and easy way of doing that. And then when you've created it, it will show up in your recent board. So recipes, backup copies at the top. OK, so you might want to do that first, just as you're playing around with this so you don't make any mistakes. Also, as a word of warning, do not delete any workspaces until you know you've got the boards in the right workspace. To delete a workspace, you go into the workspace you want to delete, you go to settings, you go right down to the bottom and you choose delete this workspace. Once you do that, it's gone. So just be careful, make sure, maybe just keep the old workspace there for a while, um, just so that you know you're, you're safe before you go and delete anything. But first of all, you need to create your new workspaces. So what you can do here, you can go to create at the top and you can either create board, start with a template, blah, 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 go to create workspace. And you just give it a name. So I'm just going to call this uh, test workspace and you can choose which type it is. I'm going to just choose other. I'm not going to bother putting anything there and continue. And then if I wanted to add people to that particular board, I just add their email address here and then I invite them to the workspace. I, uh, I keep my boards private. Oh, just another thing also, if when you're creating a board, if you don't check for it to be either uh, private or um, what's the other one called? Let me just go into my board. It's got, let me have a little look. I haven't got any boards in there. Sorry, let me go to lifestyle. I think I've got some in that one. So for instance, the recipes back at copy. Here, when you're in your board, you've got the option to have private workspace. So that means that members of my workspace, of this particular workspace, can see and edit this board. Or public. Public, if you've got it set to public, you it means that even search engines can find your board. So if you know, if I put this public, for instance, you could then search Kate's, I don't know, recipe. Uh, Trello board and you'd be able to get into this and you'd also be able to um, request to join the board. If I let you join the board, you can then actually edit the board. But of course, I wouldn't let everybody just join this board because they might delete my recipes. Um, but people could then copy this board if they wanted to. Um, again, just to show you how to copy, you go to show menu, you go to more and you would copy the board. OK, 
that's just one way you could do that and then you could make your board uh, private but I keep all my boards private I just I, I like to know I've got that security I can always assign in a board I can always assign people by I can go to add go to the board and assign a member that would then allow somebody into that board specifically um, privately and then they would have uh, a, the ability to edit and, and share that board themselves okay um, so I'm just going to come out of that <clears throat> But firstly, we want to go, the whole point of this is the workspaces. So going to workspaces, you, here is like my, my general workspace. This is, this is where some of my stuff was, not my most important stuff. And I was literally having a, a hissy fit thinking, where the heck have my boards gone? I'm going to show you how to move um, some of your boards out of a workspace into a workspace that you have defined for yourself. So uh, back up. So I'm just going to play with this one. It's in my general workspace at the moment. I want to move this into my um, my business workspace. So I'm going to click into the board that you have to click into the board that you want to move. First of all, go into show menu, go to more go to settings and then I can change the workspace here. So I'm just gonna click that. I want Kate's biz workspace and change. So now you'll see when I go into my workspaces, I can go to Kate's biz workspace and backup social media is there. I'll do another one for you. So if I go into my recent boards, I'm gonna to go to my social media content calendar, which is currently in my, think it's that general workspace let's have a look yep so it's in my general workspace I'm just going to go into this board show menu more settings and then I can change the workspace so I'm going to move that now into my Kate's biz workspace and change and I'm just going to continue like that so I can make sure that all of my boards are in the right workspaces I'm going to then keep my the, the, the workspace that Trello set up for me, probably just for one week, just to be super safe, because I have a lot of information in my boards, and then I will delete that board. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you. Um, I have got a full playlist of Trello tutorials, which literally I just, as, as I'm coming across something that I'm learning, I share them because I share these with my team and uh, they might be helpful for you to get started too. So if you uh, cl click the link up at the top right, it will give you access to the entire playlist and um, I hope you find them helpful.